How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we are here in Austin, Texas at TRE. This is the largest running shoe convention in the country. We're gonna head on in and take a look at the newest and hottest running shoes coming out in the next year. Let's head on in and see what the people have to say. So first on up, we got world famous shoe reviewer, the people's champ, Jameson Michael. Jamie, we have got a lot of great shoes here at TRE. What is the top new shoe of the event? Top new shoe? I've seen a lot of stuff in this event right now, but I'm gonna to stick to my classics. You know, I'm an Exus guy, and I saw the new Nimbus Light. Now people say the Nimbus is kind of heavy, kind of clunky, but Exus heard the people. They heard the comment section, they read all the comments. And they say, you know what? Let's give the people what they want. Nimbus Light, Flight Foam, and a little bit of gel on the heel, a little bit of gel. I mean, your boy loves the gel, so I'm looking forward to that shoe in 2020. So next on up, we got Thomas from Believe in the Run. He has been flexing all over TRE. Now, Thomas, what is the best new shoe of TRE? It's got to be one of the Saucony Endorphins. I'm not sure which one, because I only got to try one of them on, and that was the Pro. Reminds me a lot of a shoe I love called the Vaporfly, and it has that pop, that light feel, that spring off the toe. Digging it. So I'm here with Sam from Road Trail Run. You don't often see him in front of the camera. He's the man behind all the best running shoe reviews online. Sam, what is the best new shoe of TRE? Okay, well, I'm actually wearing them. It's the Solomon Sonic 3 Balance, about 10 ounces. So it has an olefin-based midsole, so it's, it's got some nice bounce to it, relatively dense. It's got a, a really effective heel vibration reducing insert. They call it the J-Pad, and it's kind of eerie how well it, it reduces vibration. So it's a daily trainer, it's flexible, it moves along any pace. Uh, I'm really excited to be um, running in it. So we got a lot of great new shoes, but we've also got a lot of great updates here at TRE. Jamie, what's the top update of TRE? Oh, bro, that's easy. By far, the New Balance Beacon 3. You know why, Connor? Why is that, Jamie? Fresh Foam X, baby. It's softer. It's lighter. Has more energy return. Buzzword. But I'm feeling it. I'm excited about it. I tried it in the 1080. Put that same foam in a lightweight package. Game winner. All right, Thomas. Next on up, best update of TRE. It's got to be the Razor 3 Plus. I mean, the Razor 3 is a masterpiece. And all they did was make it a little better, smoothed it out, got rid of some of the ironed on overlays and just made it part of the mesh. It just looks slick that I really like, uh, my favorite one was the like flaming red midsole, navy blue upper, really hot. So Sam, let's hear, what's the best new update of 2020? Okay, well, um, it's a shoe I've actually never run in because I've been kind of scared to run in. It was so massive. It's the ultra running Olympus 4. And the big news there is it loses, uh, I think about an ounce and a half. And the way they did that is with a much more decoupled outsole um, with uh, more partial rubber coverage. It's a super cushion shoe for the longest kinds of runs. And um, I'm looking forward to running in it soon. Jamie, so you're mostly out running on the roads, but every once in a while you get on the trails. Jamie, what's the top trail shoe of TRE? Top trail shoe. Now I've seen a lot up here, but I'm gonna go with Hoka One One Torrent 2. I don't like the whole clunky trail shoe vibe. It's lightweight, it's nimble, a little cushion for the pushing, the pace. And I'm all about that life. Hoka Torrent 2, game winner. From the roads to the trails, Thomas, what is the top trail shoe of TRE? You know, I've been staying off the trails because I like my ankles. So why don't we bring in a lumberjack to tell us? Oh, well, I was just jumping well, down trees and decided to show up here. Um, it's Robbie from Believe in the Run. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, trail shoe that I've seen that I really liked. Uh, again, I love the Skechers Trail 6. They made some, fixed some stuff in the Trail 5. It's looking like it's going to be a really nice shoe. The, the design of it this year is awesome. I think it's people are really going to like it. Taking it to the trail, Sam, what's going to be the best trail shoe 2020? Okay, the best thing I saw here is the Saucony Switchback 2. So it's a big change. Uh, it, it's a shoe with a boa. Um, upper but instead of kind of a more conventional lacing it's actually kind of a wrap around the foot um, it has Saucony's new power run plus midsole which is a lighter form of TPU than the ever run so it comes in at 8.8 ounces We're excited to try this shoe now Jamie all the brands are bringing the fire here at TRE what is the brand that brought the most fire 
Wait, I only get one brand? You only get one brand. All right, I'm gonna go with the boys at Saucony. Now, they brought so much heat to the table. You got the Freedom 3, the Kinvara 11, the whole Endorphin series from the Pro, the Shift, the Speed. They got you covered from the training to the race day. So by far, as far as the whole lineup, goes to Saucony. Round and TRE out, guys. What is gonna be the best brand, the full range you saw today? Mm. This is exciting because so many people are bringing the heat this year. It's really tough to make a choice. I could say Hoka, I could say Asics, I could say Saucony. But overall, I'm gonna say I'm most excited about what's going over on, on the Saucony end. They're keeping some of the originals. They're gonna keep people happy with what they've got and the Triumph and some of those shoes. And then we're gonna see that endorphin line just kicking off and the colors. The color stories are bad at that. They're very good. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I really like what Asics brought to the table. I was, it's Asics. I wasn't sure what I was gonna see. Really like the stuff that's coming out fall 2020, a little bit later into 2021 that we can't talk about. But really up in their game, bringing some nice stuff. People are gonna love it. Finishing us off, Sam. What's gonna be the best brand of TRE? Uh, not much doubt about that. It's Saucony. Starting uh, even a little bit several months ago, they completely have revamped their midsoles with their Power Run, Power Run Plus. Now they have the Power Run PB in those three very exciting light, light, fast shoes, the, the Pro, the Speed, and the Shift. But there was even more uh, in the trail category. So they really completely have changed their entire line in a matter of months. All exciting shoes, beautiful, beautiful aesthetics as well. So there you have it. Those were some of the hottest shoes coming out over the next year. I cannot wait to get them on my feet. If you're looking to try out a pair, they'll be available in 2020 here at Running Warehouse.